Okay, everybody, we're going to do the uh, second part of the camera controls assignment. The first part we did was we essentially ran all of our shutter speeds from one second to one one thousandth of a second. Now we're going to run all of our apertures or our f-stops. So the settings are just a little bit different. We still have the ISO on 400. Well, we're going to set our aperture to its widest or its biggest opening. With this camera, that's going to be f4. And we're going to set our shutter speed at 1 30th of a second and leave it and just change the aperture. So let's see what that looks like on the menu. And there's what it looks like. So 30th of a second, f4, ISO 400. Let's take that picture. And it looks a little overexposed, okay? That's fine. Now, to change the aperture, we have to hold our thumb on this AV button. It has a little plus and minus on it right in the corner. We hold that down, and it lets us have access to the other menu, which is the f-stop menu. And we simply roll the control wheel to the right, or clockwise, and now we get f5.6. Let's take that picture. Yeah, a little bit better. You have to hold that button down again and gain access to the f-stop menu and now we're going to go to f8 and take that picture. That's looking pretty good. All right, let's go again, hold the button down and go to f11 and take that picture. Starting to get a little dark, that's okay. Hold the AV button down again, and let's go to F16. And getting real dark, but that's okay. And one more, hold the AV button down again, and go to F22. And take that picture. So now if you look at these again, you'll have the F22, F16, F11, F8, F5.6, and F4.0. And that's all there is to that portion of the camera controls assignment. Okay, on the next video we'll talk about how to now do equivalent exposure.